Hey YouTube, The Will of DC here talking all about realness in the YouTube community on today's episode of YouTube News. Today I want to talk about a tweet that the great George Strumpolis made about this whole curse situation that I believe deserves some recognition and conversation within this community. It was Monday night that he tweeted, Curse Network emerges as a promising alternative to Machinima, then Google invests 30 million in Machinima, curse shut down by Google, hashtag just saying. Holy shit, bomb dropped. Now I'm not going to put any words into George's mouth, and I haven't talked to him since, so I'm not speaking on his behalf at all, I speak for myself, but I just want to say that this is the realness, this is such a change and a welcome change from the stake failness that's been going around YouTube lately, especially with the top of the industry and all the networks, let's have a revitalization of being real. As much as I kind of hate that whole real talk phrase, YouTube needs some real talk in a bad way. Now I'm not saying that's a fact that Machinima called up Google and said remove this thorn in our asses known as curse. In fact, I'm sure that probably didn't happen. That's a little too over the top soap opera dramatics to be real. But all I'm saying is let's just talk people. We all know Google is heavily invested in and involved in seeing Machinima grow and succeed over all the other networks networks, including George's full screen, even though he was a former employer there. What does all of this mean for us individually, whether you are a YouTube partner or not, whether you're with Machine or not, and collectively as a community, and for YouTube and Google as a business, and just for the industry of online monetization? I go to so many panels and everyone who attends them talks about how boring it is and how nothing real is talked about. We can talk gossip and rumor in a fun and meaningful way without it being all offensive and ugly gossipy awfulness. I love Google and Machinima. There are some people that I might not like at both, and there might be some decisions made of both that I severely disagree with, but this is all my life, the industry I live and breathe. Let's make it exciting again. Here's the question I'd love to have tons of comments and very responses to. What do you think caused curses shut down? And do you think Machinima had any involvement? And why do you think Google would shut down a network that they're making money off of? Let's just talk about it without having to take every word so seriously as if we're swearing on a stack of Bibles and mothers for every comment we make. Can we just talk like Joan River said? Can we talk? I hope so, because the minute we can is the minute this really becomes like fake Hollywood nothingness with just bullshit and most of the people in the community right now always say how it feels like the community has died and the audience isn't in control anymore. Well, you gotta fight for your voice. Like, if you're not gonna do it, you know, that's on you. I'm gonna fight for my voice. I'm gonna stay here getting in trouble, making incendiary statements, because guess what? It benefits everyone. If you love what I say, you research more on why you love it and have evidence to support them with your own statements. If you hate what I say, you know better with evidence why you hate it and why you think I'm wrong. I don't know. I just think that more talking, more theories, more intuitiveness is always better than less. And lastly, quick shout out to my big, big fan who works at Machinima, Joel Rubin, aka at Harmony Grits, who said that I present my vids as news shows, but it's just YouTube rumor mongering with next to no research. Eh, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong, at least you had the balls to stand up and say something, but would you feel the same way if I was signed into the Machinima network and not the Maker Studios network? I wonder, open invitation, Joel, to come on your YouTube news and we can talk Machinima, Maker, Big Frame, Full Screen, Collective, YouTube, Google, aka basically our entire industry that we both work in and have no plan of leaving anytime soon, you got my email. And yes, this was all just in good fun because he tweeted me that he loved my vids, but he just wants me to take the journalism thing more seriously and be more like a traditional journalist because that's the only way I'll be taken more seriously. But you know, to that, I say, this is YouTube. It's my YouTube channel. I've gotten pretty far doing what I'm doing right now and uh, I'm not gonna sell it right now, so I'm gonna do what I want. And that's all I've got for you today. Thank you so much for watching YouTube News. As always, remember to leave all your comments down below, rate, thumbs up, and subscribe. Send it to your friends if you loved it. And I'll see you tomorrow on another episode of YouTube News. Thank you